Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You're watching Furutech. So, we started reviewing the retrofit custom ROMs for OnePlus 6 and 6D. Last time, we reviewed the Paranoid Android 14 Best Custom ROM. Developer Veritas has began his own development only for retrofit occur dynamic partition custom ROMs. And we got 8 another most popular custom ROM based on the Android 14 beta build that is Evolution X AMA. So today in this video we will show you how you can flash this retrofit custom ROM over another retrofit custom ROMs. We will discuss all the new changes of this ROM with all the essential features are working or not. We will quickly check out all Android 14 features are working in this build or not. We will check out all the Evolution X features implemented in this build. Specially we will get the Dolby Atmos with all the new Adron GP Boost features. At last I did the performance testing and shown all the major bugs of this ROM. So watch this video till the end. Now with the further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. You need to download this new Evolution X build and the new Retrofit TWRP from the links given in the video description. I assume that you all are on the Retrofit Paranoid Android that you tested last time. If you are on the non-Retrofit custom ROM, then flashing process is different and its video tutorial link is given under video description. Now connect phone to the PC, open command prompt inside the folder where you placed all the files. First type command adb devices, once device get detected in the CMD, then type adb reboot bootloader, phone will boot to this screen, then type fastboot devices, here again if your device gets detected properly in the fastboot mode, then next type fastboot boot and drag the new retrofit TWRP in the CMD and hit enter, phone will boot to new retrofit TWRP. In the TWRP tap add once, then type flash current TWRP. You will see some red lines but don't worry flashing out TWRP will get successful. Now tap reboot and select recovery. Phone will boot back to TWRP. Now tap wipe option and do the format data. Once done tap mount and check mark all the partitions. Now tap add once and select adb side load. Now in the same day type adb side load and drag the rom zip file. Flashing of new rom starts and it takes up to 10 to 15 minutes. Once who gets the 1x for notification in the CMD means flashing was successful up to 100%. Now do formatting of data in the TWRP one more time and then reboot to system. Finally our device started to boot into the new amazing boot animation of Evolution X. ROM comes with the pixel launcher as a default launcher. Now let's check out the about device section. So this new Evolution X is based on the all the new Android 14 with the new star egg of upside down cake. Evolution X version is 8.1 AMA. Evolution X has their own star egg of flying Evolution X logos which looks cool. Security patch is of latest December 2023. Kanna version is same like old paranoid android. It's 4.9.337 which has kernel su support. It's builded with the latest Proton Clang tool chain 17. Build date of this ROM is of latest 11 December 2023. So everything is up to date with the latest sources. Next I did all the essential feature testing to confirm is this build can be considered as a daily driver or not. I checked WAPFA, WAPFA horse plot, Bluetooth with the HD audio codex, GPS location, NFC, OnePlus alert slider. All these basic things are working fine without any issues. All the incoming and outgoing VOLT calls with the core recording features are working. Sometimes core recording may show error but it works. ROM supports Wi-Fi calling and the force LTE aggregation toggles. Hey Google voice activation is also working well in the off screen and on screen mode. All the essential sensors and features are working like the mic, ear speaker, ear proximity, multi-touch and display. All the major sensors are also working well without any issues. ROM passing the safety net so all the banking and the security applications will work in this ROM along with the kernel support. 
so all the major things are working bugs are discussed at the end of this video so please watch this video completely all the time lamps have the major points shown about this rom now let's check out all the android 14 features available in this rom which are self-explanatory So here comes the most important part of the video that is Evolution X features. ROM comes with all the features added under the Evolver tab of customizations under the main setting. I will not discuss these features because we all know about them because we are using this all customizations from the decades. Who gets the themes customizations, status bar customizations, notifications, QS panel setting customizations, gestures, lock screen screen of animations and many more the major new changes comes under the miscellaneous setting here you guess the play integrity fix option unlock higher fps in the game but it's not working windows secure flag toggle helps to take the screenshots of some banking or, or security applications which was disabled by the google allow all applications to downgrade is another toggle we get here Except these, some new options were added under the OnePlus Extra setting. Here, we get the other slider customization. I especially like it as the FPS control customization using the other slider. Touch Boost is the new toggle added by the developer, which is also available in the Paranoid Android UV Lite version. Ambient Display has the pickup and the pocket mode activation settings for the ambient display. This dimming toggle is available which helps to improve the battery by dimming the backlight of the display. App synchronization is the new addition which helps to improve the performance of the device. Adreno GPU boost slider and the Adreno GPU thermal throttling are the new options added by the developers in this ROM. These customizations are also available in the Paranoid Android. This definitely helps to improve the gaming of the device and the GPU is overclocked to 800 MHz by the developer in this ROM 2. Developer also added USB 2.0 fast charging toggle. 
that will helps to charge the device faster with the USB connections with the PC or the power banks. New big addition is the Dolby Atmos. Developers added the Dolby Atmos under the sound setting of this device. Here we get the bunch of the new inbuilt sound profiles, equalizer presets, dialog enhancer setting, volume leveler toggles, other two settings like sound, virtualizers and bass enhancer only available for the headphones or earphones devices. Dolby Atmos really gives you the better sound enhancement in this room which I personally tested after listening some songs. If you ask me about the performance of the ROM, even though ROM has too much customizations, it still feels buttery smooth. Only after first boot, you may feel some lag, but once everything gets settled down, it works like butter on the bread. Geekbench given nearly same results like Paranoid Android as you can check on the screen. But non-retrofit Superior OS has the better results than both of these retrofit Paranoid and Evolution X custom ROMs. But the GPU scores max out as compared to the Geekbench database and the Superior OS results. Because GPU is overclocked and developer has added the GPU boost and the thermal control for the Adreno GPU in this ROM. So it's time to show you the major bugs present in the ROM. First is the camera. ROM comes with the OxenOS camera application. It's fully working but sometimes it shows some bugs like showing the black screen. When it opens the application, we need to restart the app again to solve this issue. Sometimes slow motion video recording force closing the application, but after opening the app back again, it works fine. In the same way, it shows some force close for the night sight mode also. But still camera works fine, but it has lots of flaws. So you can use the Shamim Gcam build, it works fine without any force close except for the slow motion, it's not working. Next device play protect showing the device not certified. Because of that, no support for some application you will find like the Netflix. I tried both the play integrity fix kernel submodule and miscellaneous setting of the device, but still it's getting failed. Next white wine showing security level as L3, but actually it's of no use because we can't able to install the Netflix in this ROM. Except these bugs, no issues you will find, it's completely stable. In the upcoming days, developer will completely fix all these remaining issues. So definitely this one is highly customizable and best performing ROM if you are a fan of customizations then definitely go with this. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for OnePlus 6 and 60 which will help you to keep alive your edge device. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.